Well guys, it's Welsh Randy SC here bringing you another video into the Majmo Show career. Thank you very much guys for the continuous support, I'd just like to mention that. But I changed the theme a little bit, you know where I've got my little tab bar and where it says team lineups and like setting off and stuff? Kind of change that up a little bit just to mention different kind of colours. Okay, but into our first game which is a league cup against Everton. We go in with the 4-4-1-1 formation, Nathan Dyer again is start. And also we do have Nicky Maynard up front with uh, Lucas Piazon just behind him. I was sort of pretty well, but uh, around 10 minutes later, I've just had 15, we do end up conceding against Everton really poor. Um, with a goalkeeper, I tried cancelling like, his run out, but he just kept, kept coming out. So there was nothing I stopped there. Uh, we gave the ball away in the 34th minute, poor throw in, but I've given it to the goalkeeper here. Another great save uh, for him and... Wonderful again. We got Bannum, who's actually started as well today, and he does get the shot away. A lot of you keep suggesting him, saying start and start him. Uh, Lucas Piazon on the ball now, and he does get a shot away, and he does get a goal. Lucas Piazon, guy, he's, he is going to be my player like of the month or something like that. And a player of the game, he's great. Look at that. His dribbling stats must be amazing. I really don't know what they are, but he's going to be a great growth player, and without a doubt, a brilliant centre forward. Don't play him up front, in my opinion. Play him centre forward and he is absolutely brilliant. Here guys, very unfortunate not to get a goal, but we do make some subs. We take off Solizano, uh, no, bring on Solizano and all right then we take off Nicky Maynard and someone else, 9%. We're on the 90th minute now guys, not much actually happened, but this is the League Cup, so we do end up crossing it and it does go to Solizano. Very unfortunate not to get on the, on the end of that, but great save by Howard so we do go into extra time uh, pretty poor uh, but we should have done a lot better actually coming back but we do bring Obi on and take off Robinson so kind of a dodgy sub you may say but we do put Albright in left back and then Obi in the midfield because uh, J Robinson was actually just shattered uh, but uh, unfortunately for Obi there uh, Solzano on a ball gets a shot and Lucas Piazone getting his second goal of the game Great rebound, great agility, great awareness around the box to actually get there, hit it on the volley and get that into the, um, into the back of the net. But in the end of the 20th minute, we do push forward, hit it on the volley, and we do end up missing. So, guys, we do end up winning in the League Cup, proceeding further into that League Cup, which the board of directors actually want us to do. Uh, player here, guys, who is tired, uh, Makisio. Um, so he's kind of a crucial defender, he's like 82 rated, so we do give him a rest. Um, in this game, we're playing Sunderland in the Premier League on legendary difficulty. Going with Solizano up front, guys. Uh, Yo uh, Yojas uh, left mid from being rested, and also Lucas Piazon playing in the centre forward position. Usual defence. Um, and we also got McKeck and starting in the middle. Started pretty well. Uh, all brightening again, the shot away with his weaker foot. But Sunderland then do push on attack, and a great through ball by Berthoff to Jean, and a lovely save by a goalkeeper. A lovely slide for the block, and a great defence defending overall for us to actually get that ball away so a bit threatening there but here guys I got a bit of an offside claim what do you think was it offside or not because I headed back it came off the defender then Lucas Piazon reacted he was in an offside position but it was a touch from him maybe his class is deflection guys posting a comment what do you think it should have been another great save by here by our goalkeeper and uh, Sunderland keep pushing forward but we end up conceding a penalty in my opinion, that was not a penalty, without a doubt. But uh, John steps up, and he does go for the top right. And the goalkeeper went the right way, but he does hit the bar, and we do clear that. But we push forward on a tad, literally moments after. So does Zano, just literally a through ball, catch on to the counter. And here, so close not to score, and very unfortunate here. But we do get on the attack again around the 43rd minute, and just a drilled shot, but another great save by the goalkeeper. But... We do make three subs. We bring on Obi. I'm not going to say what that was. He didn't come up. But another lovely pass in play here. Lucas Piazon on the ball. And unfortunate not the score there, guys. Um, I'm going to name him now. He is my player of the month. I may do a segment on him next episode. But Defoe here again, very close. We brought him on as a sub as well. Very close to him not to actually score. Hit in the post. But it's another two points dropped, in my opinion, in the actual Premier League. Really disappointed. We should have done a lot better. So, unfortunate. Uh, Sunderland had a good side, such as Bertoff and Jaron. But we do go down to ninth, I do believe. Blackburn down to 7th as well. And also, Swansea are currently 13th. So, we kind of hang around the mid-table. Uh, we play in CD National. 
Really don't know, but anyway, we have got uh, Defoe playing, Lucas Piazon, Rojas, Obi, McEachern in the midfield, and another, and we also got a different goalkeeper. We've got Faman on, and a great save by our goalkeeper there. He's a brilliant goalkeeper, in my opinion. Uh, we do cross it in, straight to Lucas Piazon again. Yes, it is. Lucas Piazon getting ahead on the ball, getting himself another goal for his tally this season. And a brilliant goal. He's a great all-round player, guys. Great heading, great skills, great uh, shooting abilities, great passing, and he is a player which you guys should buy. Um, they do push forward. Another great save by our goalkeeper, Faman, and one of our keepers that we actually bought. 25 as well, and only 80 rated. But Defoe, got attempting for the bicycle kick, but it does go straight over the bar. Going on to the attack now, guys, and we have got Delph on the ball. Cuts inside, does get a free kick. I was like, yes, I'll take this by here. Uh, we do have the assistant guy on. We drill it. And he goes straight in, guys. If you haven't got many good free kit takers, that is how you should do it, in my opinion. You are guaranteed to score. I've done that several times uh, in Ultimate Team and also in Manager Mode. Look at that, right round the wall. Keep a... Got a hand to it, but anyway, we did end up scoring to make it 2-0. Another great charge out by the goalkeeper. Another great save. But we do defend off pretty well to prevent them from scoring. And we do end up getting a clean sheet for this game, guys. End up winning 2-0 and a great win for us. Our quest to actually get further into this Euro League. So we played really well. Nice 2-0 win instead of struggling there. But we did play well, rather dominant throughout the whole game. So we're currently second in this Euro League. So I'd like to say, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Really much appreciate if you did drop this a like. Maybe we could get to 100 likes or something like that. It doesn't really matter if we don't. But it is a nice little quest we could have for ourselves. So, you guys, as I like to say, thank you very much for watching. Post a comment on anything you want uh, if you watch this far. And I will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to my channel. Peace off, guys. Bye.